Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're working on a pretty simple project. Uh, I have this all top 4x4 accessories compressor that I've been using for off-roading and I'm going to be modifying a little bit so stay tuned for that. Real quick I just wanted to update you on the channel. I know it's been a while, I've, I say this a lot, but it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and uh, I just wanted to say that I definitely have not had the time to make any videos or edit any videos and I haven't had a computer to edit anything on and been very busy at work so I'm trying to trying to get back into things here so yeah please be patient and uh, yeah I'll be uploading some some more videos here shortly so this video uh, like I said we've got an all top air compressor which I'll show you that here in a second and a few little uh, tools and accessories here so let me kind of show you what we're doing to this and uh, yeah we'll get right at it all right guys so first thing here is the all top accessories 4x4 accessories compressor I'll leave a link in the description for all these parts and pieces by the way as well as the compressor but uh, yeah so in here I keep I put in here. In this bag I keep some off-road accessories because it keeps them all kind of compact but I've got the uh, soft shackles and things in here. We'll talk about that some other time but uh, in here is the air compressor and this thing is pretty hefty and it's been pretty good so far but we are going to make it even better today and I've got a hose in here that I actually added to the kit um, and I'll get to that in a second and then uh, I did take out the hose that came with this it gets tangled up fairly easily because it's a um, like a rubber hose and uh, I've got a Bowler Tools pressure gauge in there in case I need it there's some deflators which I haven't really used but they came free. Just to let you know I paid for all this myself. This is not sponsored or anything. I found this compressor on Amazon and bought it myself. So the first thing I've done is add my own hose. This one doesn't get as uh, tangled up as the one that came with it. And what I did was I changed out one end to a quick connect and then the all top comes with this adapter because they don't use a standard quick connect so I keep that on my hose so then it's easy just to connect to the compressor I also purchased a digital tire pressure gauge and inflator and then it's got a quick connect here uh, I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the description for this. The reason why I'm making this video is mainly because of this. So this compressor does not have an auto shut off. So if I stop pumping the tire up, this thing will build up pressure and just keep going. So what we're going to do in this video is add a pressure switch to the all top air compressor. So that will allow me to use this air chuck and check tire pressure and this will shut off automatically. So the first thing the first thing I got was a T fitting. We do need to put this on the end here so that we can put our pressure 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 switch on. The next thing is the actual pressure switch. I got a 70 to 100 PSI pressure switch comes with a couple of wire connectors um, But yeah, there's the pressure switch and then um, it does come with some thread tape and I got some Quick connects because I'm going to change out the quick connect on the end. So it's just a standard quick connect and uh, So this is a non-standard thread on here as well, so we're going to be adapting to a North American standard uh, thread. So again, I will leave a link in the description for all the parts you'll need to change out the pieces on here. All right, so first thing we need to do is remove the old, 
the old quick connect here. So I've got, I have a couple of pipe wrenches. So one to hold on to this end and one to remove the old connection. And it's actually not on there very well. All right, well that wasn't on there that tight, but there we go. And it looks like I need some hex keys to get this metal piece off. Alright guys, I don't think I needed to take it off this whole plate, but basically there's basically there's four hex screws on the end of this, and then there's four on the other end. Um, but I don't know, maybe it'll make it easier, but uh, I need to remove the, well, there we go, remove the end cap. All right guys, so what we need to do is there's a wire in between the compressor itself and the switch, and that's this little small wire right here. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. So it is this little small wire here. Um, so what we're gonna do is snip that and then put our wire in between here. So what that will do is we'll go up to our pressure switch and then what that does when it reaches pressure, it basically cuts off the motor. I think we'll just come off of maybe the side here. Um, so we'll make a little hole We'll make a little hole right here to run that wire through and then up to our pressure switch, which is gonna be coming off of our air pipe here. So I just need to get some snips and get that cut and get it spliced in. So I'll show you that here in a moment. So I already had a bunch of these uh, crimp connectors. This is the wrong kit. I've got another kit somewhere. Okay, so I have this terminal kit and we'll just use these to splice on this wire. Um, I just have some wire that I've had laying around for a while. All right, so I'm just using these two wires here. Doesn't really matter which end that you connect these to um, because all this is doing is basically interrupting the electrical signal in between the power and the compressor itself. All right, got that spliced in. So now what I'm gonna do is drill a hole in the plastic here to run the wire through. All right, so now go ahead and get this 
mounted back together. Okay guys, finally got this thing back together. <laughs> Took me a little bit. Okay, so basically we need to put this back together. Um, so we got this handle that we can put back on. And... Ah! I always do stuff like this. Start putting everything back together, and then I gotta take it back apart because I forgot one small little piece. All right guys, so now I need to put on the uh, thread adapter here. So this will adapt the, I don't even know what thread this is on here, but it'll adapt this thread to a regular three quarter inch uh, thread and Whoop. so there is this little cap piece that goes on here and I'm not sure that I'll be able to get a good seal uh, with this piece but uh, we'll give it a try so I just need to put on some thread tape so I just put on some regular thread tape we'll put that retainer piece back on there and screw it down and hopefully it'll maintain a seal if not I'll have to remove that this metal piece that's right here all right so we got the adapter piece on so now we can use our T so that will screw on here, and I'm hoping, let's see. Yeah, so our um, pressure blah, blah, blah. our pressure switch is not going to fit facing downwards like this, so it's gonna have to be off to the side. I know that's kind of a pain, but maybe I'll put it kind of at an angle like that. So we'll see how that goes here. So we're just adding some more thread tape so that air won't escape all right and then we just need to put our pressure switch on here all right guys so far so good let me get it up a little bit closer here so we've got our adapter piece on and then a T and then our pressure switch and then our wires will go to our pressure switch there. So I'm just using these right angle connectors that came with the pressure switch. If I can find the other one, that would be fantastic. So again on the uh, connectors here, it doesn't really matter which wire goes where because all it is is disconnecting the wire on the inside of the or disconnecting the switch basically all right so we got our pressure switch in so now i just need to add a quick connect coupler these already have some red thread tape stuff on them so go ahead and put that on all right guys my uh camera overheated so I need to use my phone so we got our pressure switch here with our wires going down and interrupting this switch we have an adapter here a T and then a quick connect here so now I can get rid of the oh, where to go we can get rid of the adapter piece that came with the compressor and now we can hook any quick connect here and then this should allow us to um, 
well, this should allow the, the system to pressurize and then the compressor will shut off. So I'm gonna go out to the front of the truck. It's really hot out today. So try to get this done quickly. Hopefully, hopefully this works. All right, guys, so uh, this is just a quick test. So I'm not gonna turn the truck on, but we've got the compressor connected to the battery. And then I have my uh, air chuck here with the digital readout. So hopefully we turn it on Whew, and here's hoping. Oh my God. <laughs> it works. <laughs> guys our pressure switch works and you can hear it click so I am getting a leak right here so I'm gonna have to take this piece off maybe ream it out a little bit and uh, I mean it's not the end of the world it is working so I don't know if you can hear that. It's leaking a little bit right here, but it's not affecting this. Um, I might have to redo that there, but I don't know. It's working right now, so that's that's a that's a success. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick video, very simple project, easy to do by yourself. Just a couple of tools, not a big project. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything, just let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you stay tuned for more mods on the truck. Make sure you check out the Mission Overland camper videos, and definitely more to come. Hopefully I've got more time now. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. See you on the next one. Thanks.